really very happy not to be doing that anymore. <laughs> and I work with, although a lot of my classes are really designed for women, I, I work with a lot of men too. And what I love doing now is working with people to get on with their life, mostly after divorce or any kind of transition. You know, any kind of transition. We, we want to just help you to move forward. So, um, actually, I'll, I'll wait until the video is not recording to wait. Say our names. So I was doing a retreat this summer called Standing Firm on Feminine Ground. And one of the bases of Standing Firm on Feminine Ground is really learning how to establish boundaries for yourself. Clear boundaries. And, and the thing about it is you really want to establish them with grace. And what happens in our lives is we, we get totally overwhelmed, we get depleted, we get so much is going on in our lives that we stop asking for what we want and we either become martyrs or we, we become demand bitches, you know, like, you know, give me what I need now. You know, I give and I give and I give and I never receive, you know, woe is me. And there's no space between what we can handle in our lives and what we are handling in our lives. And that's why we're so tired out. And so the, this the concept of standing firm on feminine ground is, you know, really being grounded, but with beauty and grace at the same time. You know, being able to be your best self, your most compassionate self. And so what you really want to do is know what you need in your life to be able to be that person to be the best you can be. And I'm just going to give you an example of that. Everybody needs a certain amount of sleep. And we often don't get it. So it's really important for you to know how much sleep do you need to be compassionate. Compassion is a real woman's trait, right? So if you know you need eight hours of sleep to be compassionate, then you need to be able to say to your partner, I really need eight hours sleep. Do not wake me up in the middle of the night. Do not wake me up first thing in the morning. <laughs> you know, and if the cat starts going or the dog starts going, please take the cat or the dog out for me so that I can sleep. Because if I sleep, then I can be the best person I can be in my life with you. And people understand that, you know, when you put it that way. But if you wake up in the morning and you start screaming, I can't believe you woke me up again. I hate this. I can't stand this. You know, don't wake me up at 4 o'clock in the morning and you're yelling and screaming at them. What are they going to want to do? They're not going to want to help you. They're not going to want to be kind back to you and give you what you need. Right? Okay. So there's some sound over here. I'm just going to close this door. And